welcome back guys uh, in this episode I'm going to show you how to create a character animation uh, or how to sync your character animation with your script where we left off so I have a character it's from this uh, asset store character pack free sample by super Saiyan. you can download it it's free and with this character you all also already got the animation for uh, running, jumping, and uh, a lot of other animation that you can use for your project. And here, I've already set up this uh, prefabs uh, character as a child. So the way I do this, I just go to the prefabs folder, but uh, I use the base folder and select this object here, and then I drag this uh, object mail free to the player character as a child of it so now when we set this up I've create a new animator and with this animator I set this like this so start from idle animation and then we can go to run back and forth and this is the condition that I've set up so whenever we go to the run we set the speed is greater than 0.1 and uh, on ground boolean variable to true and then uh, for, for the run back to the idle just change the speed to less than 0 0.1 and I have three parameters set up speed which is a float on ground is a boolean and jump is a trigger and from any state I create a state to the jump uh, state and here uh, on the transition I set the trigger jump and the uh, boolean on ground to false and whenever the on ground set to true we go back from jump to idle depending on the speed or we go to the run depending on the speed but with the same condition which is on ground is true so this is uh, basically how I set up the animator and for the playmaker as you can see I've added a set vector 3xyz to create a new vector for the direction and we uh, get the x value from the speed and then we build a new vector uh, called direction and then I feed that direction inside uh, uh, this smooth look at the uh, direction action as a target direction so the character can rotate uh, depending on the movement and for the jump action FSM I've added this two uh, action we just set animator trigger uh, and set the trigger to jump and set the animator boolean to true for on ground and uh, for the game object I specify game object which is a variable that I've created which is animator object and with this variable I inserted uh, our uh, model here with the animator component so basically this action will drive the animator component on our child object and don't forget to drag the child object as a value for this game object variable and here this is on the wait for jump state uh, we have two additional action and for the do jump we have at this set animator boolean uh, which is the on ground boolean parameter and set the value to false Okay, so now for the animation FSM, we are just retrieving the velocity from our player object. Uh, we we are getting the x ve uh, velocity, and we save this to a new variable called speed here, and then we set that uh, sp uh, speed variable to an absolute ve value every frame. So this value will never be uh, a negative number we all we will always be positive and another thing we add set animator float and we are setting the speed parameter to the value of our uh, variable speed which 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 has been uh, which has been convert to a absolute value and it, it, it is happening every frame and that action will change the speed parameter here so 
we can change transition depending on our speed value here so let's try this and here as you can see we can see that the character is running whenever we press left and right and if I jump it will play the jump animation and when landing it will go back to idle or running and one thing I have changed is the project settings and under physics I've set the gravity y to a this number here so uh, the character will fall faster compared before before is a bit floaty to my taste so for my taste it's a bit floaty so I change this value and now let's start uh, continue our script where we left off so here I've opened the script and now we need to create a new private variable types of animator and let's name this my animator and what this basically do is just like when we create the game object variable uh, back on our playmaker here on our action here the animator object where we put our child object but instead of creating a game object variable we are creating a type of animator right away and we can use the same method like get component here but since the component is on our child object then we can use the get component in children and just feed the type animator inside this angled bracket and as always since this is a method we need to insert uh, parenthesis at the end and save this and now we can set its uh, float like this so just type the variable name and then use the set float method function and then we can type the parameter name which is speed of course and here we can insert the value of our velocity so I'm going to use a function called mathf absolute so this is like using the float absolute action on playmaker and then we can get our myrb.velocity.x so we are getting the x value and save this okay so now let's set our character so I'm going to copy this object since I've already scaled this object and then I'm going to make this a child of our disabled player C sharp and let's disable our playmaker object and enable the C sharp and for tidiness I'm just going to rename this object back to the male free one and let's delete the capsule mesh filter and also the mesh render we don't need that anymore and okay so let's save the scene and let's try this okay there is still something wrong with it let's check what wrong okay it gets the mail free animator but it doesn't change the the idle okay yes as you can see here the speed is changed by the script but we haven't triggered the on ground uh, boolean parameter so we need to fix that let's go back to our script here and we can set it here so I'm going just to type animator and then set boolean and I've remembered that the name of boolean is on ground and you need to type this exactly the way you type it on the animator parameter so make sure you check that and then after typing the name we are setting the value so I'm going to use the value on ground and I'm going just to copy this value here and paste this here so whenever it's true it's going to be true also and whenever it's false it's going to be also false with the, uh, the on ground uh, parameter that's reside on the animator and one thing we need to do is whenever we jump we need to trigger the animator sorry not animator but my animator set trigger and this name is jump 
since it's a trigger we don't need second parameter because we only need to trigger it once and the syntax is just like this uh, set trigger and then insert the string name so that should do it and let's save it and let's try this okay I'm going to change the inspector back to normal okay now as you can see the player can run but we have a slight problem the player doesn't rotate but let's try the jump first okay there you go we can see the jump is working and it's landing just like the our playmaker uh, game object and now we need to add the di uh, changing direction as you can see here under our playmaker we have added set of actions which uh, drive the direction so now we need to apply the same uh, rotation to the character so we have a factor 3 movement right and here we can change its rotation like this transform set rotation and then type quaternion dot direction sorry not direction look rotation and get the forward and upward okay so we are going to get the movement let's try this uh, using the movement and using a factor 3 up so factor 3 up is basically a y y direction uh, as you can see it's shorthand writing of x0 y1 and z is 0 so this is make sure that we are rotated on our y rotation and save this and uh, hopefully this is working so let's try this okay it's rotating but somehow we are rotating to the wrong direction so we need to fix that let's try to use the transform forward okay so movement is apparently correct but we need to use, use a let hold a moment uh, let me try this now I've already uh, fixed the problem so we can just use the movement here and uh, we are going to set the child object rotation back to zero so it will start facing uh, to the Z direction and whenever we move it, it will facing forward to the movement direction as you can see here but whenever we release the keyboard it will go back to facing that way so we need to fix that okay let's go back to our script here and as you can see here we have a movement right and we can set an if statement so we only uh, set the rotation whenever we are moving so here we can use a uh, our vector and we can check its magnitude magnitude is the length of the vector so whenever we are moving the length should be greater than zero so get the magnitude value and make sure it's bigger than zero and whenever it's bigger than zero we execute this code here so I'm going to create the bracket and then I'm going to cut this code and put it inside this here so save this so this will make sure whenever we stop it will s uh, stop executing this uh, look rotation so it will stay facing the last direction where the character is facing so let's try this so yeah okay now oh it's still going back to that direction Okay, maybe we can 
make sure this is bigger than 0 0.1 and try this again okay there you go we have fixed the problem and oh there is another issue here <laughs> whenever it's jumping <laughs> it's it's <laughs> rotating very awkward so let's fix that also okay so this this happens uh, when we are moving so make sure where this we only evaluate the movement whenever we are moving and we are on ground so let's add in on ground to true like this and I'm going to try this okay so now we are moving and whenever we are jumping okay there is still an issue here okay the best way to fix this is to set our movement vector here our movement dot y to a value of 0 why is this because whenever we are jumping the y value is not going to be 0 it's going to be greater than 0 but we already uh, we already apply the movement factor to our velocity here so it's safe to change the movement vector after we applying the velocity here and then we are changing its value and then we are applying the new change vector to its uh, look rotation so the y uh, value is going to be always zero whenever this movement vector ap are, ap are applying our rotation so here in this line the y value of of the movement is all is going to be always zero so we have forced that uh, and this will not affect our velocity since we are already applying the velocity uh, uh, fr uh, with the movement value before we are setting the y value back to zero because with code it always gets executed from top to the bottom of the line here so yeah let's try this again hopefully it's it's going to fix the issue here Ah, there you go we have a a very nice value here yep okay so I hope you find this uh, tutorial uh, quite useful for learning C sharp and uh, let me assure you if you uh, uh, learning C sharp it, it's really quite uh, quite good uh, for my experience because you can create a very complex uh, code later and if you have any questions just uh, just write uh, just ask on the comment below thanks for watching I see you in the next episode bye